Hi all, and welcome back to our Skyrim Let's Play uh, Tales of Balthasar the Great. Yeah, um, we're just sitting here around here, and uh, yeah, so I hadn't sold all that much, but uh, yeah. Maybe some poor sap will uh, come and have a look, and I can deal him in on some of my wares. I like that, uh, <laughs> that Sophie over here, she's, she's just standing there, um, being all they chipper. Alfred Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. You oh. tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Shut up. Get going with the Donald Gun Pine thing. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. Ah, yes, that is a good pick, my friend. I'll take my leave, then. Good choice, Sometimes sir. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. And God, hold your daughter in your arms, you stupid mofo. Ah, Monsieur Greymane, how can I be of assistance to you today? Make it quick. Ah, oh, that is a good choice, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's get going, shall we? So, Sophie, how you doing? I'm all ears. Well, not literally, of course. Uh, <laughs> what would you like to talk about? I don't know. How are you feeling? Do you actually care how I feel? You really aren't like most people who just shout abuse at me. Although I probably do deserve it. Aw, oh, you poor thing. I'm always ready for a chat. <laughs> Have you ever thought you were perhaps a bit mean? Well, you look nice. I know. What can I say? It must be so hard for other people being so inferior to me. <laughs> okay, let's stop All there. right, then. Let's stop there. <laughs> if I talk any more to you, I'm gonna goddamn laugh my freaking head off. Oh, yeah, let's store that one. A basket. Uh, bedroom furnishings, nah, uh, we had, yeah, chicken egg, cultist gloves, hmm, conservation hood, yeah, that just, yeah, um, uh, let's just go through the things we don't need. That we're gonna need. We're gonna need those. Okay, that we're gonna need. Uh, keys. Oh. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, kettle. <laughs> oh my god. Ruined books. That one is that. Oh, we got a lot of those. And we got two troll skulls. We got the unusual gems. We got some bowls, we got some ladles, and some plates. Sweet. And wasam! Everything is gone. Uh, boom. So, what is on our dragon boat? He hell no. Don't got. Mm, maybe. You know what? Actually, let's go up to your Ravasker and talk. Uh, the horn of York and wind call, no mother him. Um, join the Legion, no. Join the Stone Clock. Uh, gather ten pair bells. We already have three. Initiate, so investigate South Heath Barrow. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's that one up there, yeah. Um, hmm. Return to Klimic. Um, in my time of need, Red God Woman, ah, okay. Ooh, that's a probably good one. You know what, let's do that one, the Red God Woman. And I know where she is. It's a boot. Come on in, just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. You want me to stroke the fire? That's gonna burn me, you dumb bitch.
She's up here. Nope, she's not. Oh, where is she? There you are. Is there something I can do for you? Hmm. There is. Did you know some attic here? What is was he looking for, Red Card Woman? Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? Hmm. I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Okay. Quickly. Come with me. Oh, and you lie and you drink a lot. Yeah, you do what you do with that sort of time that you lie down and bleed. Yeah. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave last Matilda charged in full of seal. So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Then I need your help. And there isn't anyone else I can trust here in the city. Uh, maybe? What do you want? Perhaps uh, if there's money at the... <laughs> maybe what you want. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. Well, for that. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almarie Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I Damn. need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. How am I supposed to get rid of them? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. Hmm. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. My suggest any suggestions on uh, how to find them? Well, actually, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go in, into more detail here, because I already know how. But, man, nah, let's just do it. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. Yeah. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Well, Please. I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. Okay, okay. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of old battles in gold he had made. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... Uh, Sophie, no more drinking for you, oh, lass. I'm all ears. Uh, well, not literally, of course. Come. Yes, let's go. Yeah, I was just about to say the same. Yeesh. So... Sophie, you... Um, there you are, you little drunkard. Sheesh. You weren't that good looking, I would... I'm gonna beat you to a bloody pulp. Sheesh. What is it? Nothing. Can't you see? Nothing whatsoever. Staying safe, I hope. <sighs> Guards and their um, I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken drawers. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Ha 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 ha! You want to abandon Ray when there's dragons about? Yeesh. Yeah, I do not want to hear about you. Ah, see rich dungeon. <laughs> hey, are you the superior here? Dude! Oh well. Hey, Jill, I want to talk to you. What are you looking at? I need to find Kamatu. Where is he hiding? You have a death wish, then? If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. <laughs> what is it that you need? I have dishonored my brothers by being captured. And so they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now. But I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. How much is your fine? 100 gold will secure my release. You can afford that, can't you? Mm. I suppose you'd better hope you can, if you want the information. 
Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Farewell. You there. Staying safe, I hope. I want to pay the fine for this prisoner. You just doing that with your hands, huh? Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. Cool. It's you buy my way out of here, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Your fine has been paid. Very well. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. Mm -hmm. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. But that's your problem, not mine. <clears throat> Guard! My fine's been paid, now set me free! If there is one thing I don't like, Sorry, Mike, it is people so who think they you are really something? tough and special and boast all the time. Also, don't right, you just right. hate those people oh, who talk that. about pointless stuff that they really Might should keep to themselves? Them. You just sit tight. Uh, what? I'll get around to it eventually. Why are you looking at me like that? I think you know why. Well, swindlers then it is. Why is that a swimming little cave? Right over there, and we have already been to the Dunsman's King. So let's fast travel to that and let's see you over there. And here we are. Ah, yes. We will soon know what that place is, but now we're going to the Swindler's Den. Lovely weather to travel in, I suppose. Hey! My lucky day, a cabbage pack, a cabbage wagon just uh, got messed up here. First, no! Oh! Ah, not powerful enough. I need my first water. Okay. Ooh, I see a couple of nine roots in the distance. Nine roots. I love nine roots. What the? Well, well, well. Whoa. Switching between lightning and fire that easily? Who the heck are you, Sophia? Jeez. No. A cat howling like a wolf. There's some abomination going around here. Sniper for nothing. <laughs> yeah, my little my room. Okay. Well, seems like we have to go over this way. The goblin selfie? Oh, what? Uh, you're of course gonna take the long way around. Whoa. Oh, I thought I saw something. Did I tell you about the time I nearly made two people die without even touching them? I didn't feel like wearing clothes that day. One man nearly choked to death on a piece of bread when he saw me, and the other fell over a bridge and nearly drowned. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man, this is gonna be one of the most epic series I ever made. Oh my god. Oh well. Oh hell no you don't. What? You skeever? Little motherfucker. Where? 
motherfucking skill. Crabs, moles, oh my god. Be a little bit faster than that, Sophie. I'm getting all of my powers. <laughs> but she's fast, I must admit her that. She can run me up in no time. Ah, here we go. Whoa. Oh, it's just a little bear. But those two guys down there, I do not like. Especially that guy. I don't know what the other one is. He doesn't move like the first one. Sophie, would you please? Thank you. One of them is a... I don't know, but the other one seems like just be a giant or something like that. Well, here we go. That's right in the face! Or stomach, whichever you prefer. Hmm. Ah. So she had sexy coin number four. Okay, cool. Thought I heard some. Okay then, swindled in the days. Sneaking is so much fun. The thrill of almost getting caught is more addictive than skooma. All right, yeah, now is not the time for talking. I'm not sure I like these Alakir warriors hiding out here. They seem like trouble. Keep it to yourself. They're not paying us to talk. They'll be gone as soon as they've found whoever they're looking for. We'll have all the more corn. Spider-Man. Or not.
I always use firewood. Hit them. Oh, sorry. I need to be quiet. Fools! Oh! Someone there? Ah, found you. Looky here. Looks like we got ourselves a. Time to finish. Lucky. Girl. I need to apologize. Sorry about that. I'm gonna loot these corpses that are underneath me, just so you don't have to see it. And to it back, also gave uh, some stuff to uh, her. Probably wondering why I'm stealing all this. To sell in my market, of course. Guy. Here. I'm not sure I like the idea of crouching down behind you. If you dare let one go, then you could forget me helping you. Why am I even talking? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys get that?
wrong spell, I suppose. Hmm. Strength, warrior. Let's avoid any more bloodshed. I think you and I have some things to talk about. Stay your hand, warrior. It's no secret why you're here, and you have proven your skill in combat. Let us talk a moment, and no one else needs to die. I think we can all profit from the situation in which we find ourselves. Okay. My men will not attack you if you will lower your weapons. Why do we have to see the... She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Were it not for her betrayal, Tanith could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. They want her brought back alive. The resistance against the Dominion is alive and well in Hammerfell, and they want justice. Hmm. Of course. Sent by. What is it that she's calling herself these days? Shazra? Sadia? One of those, correct? Did she appeal to your sense of honor? Your greed? A more base need, perhaps? It doesn't matter. No doubt she's convinced you that she's the victim. But do you know why we pursue her? Hmm, you just told me. It's been so much fun. The thrill of all these getting caught is more addictive than Spuma. All right, man, there's no good time for talking. I'd hoped we could work something out. That you would see reason. That we could avoid having to kill you. Very well then. If that's the way you want to play it, we will. Is someone here? My uh, summons. That's a good thing. Well, well, well. Nice. Oh, looting time! And overburden again. A bunch of naked men in the pool. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, hey, uh, well, maybe you can carry a little bit for me. I'm all ears. Well, are you saying you don't trust me? Fair point, actually. I wouldn't trust me. <laughs> yeah, actually, I do trust you. Uh, here we go. Yeah, that's, that's perfect right there. Time to move, I guess. I just want to see something here. If I summon... If I summon him and then... 
I can only have one up at a time. That sucks. Have you ever tried living in a cave? I have. It's not the most comfortable way of living, but you won't find anywhere more private. Well, except the house, of course. And unlike tents, you can give it a few homely touches. Good girl. Let's get the fuck out of here. And see you back at White Run where we have stored all our loots. Ah, home sweet home. Let's go up and uh, place all of our lovely gained loot in our little chest up here. Do you hunt? Planes outside. Yeah, shut up. Hmm. Alakia hood. Not what the thing was made of. Oh, yeah, and of course. Right with game. Hmm. I'm all ears. Is it because you're scared what I might do with it? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Okay, and you would like to use that bow apparently. Okay, cool. And you also like to use that one, but you're using the sword, so I'm gonna take it anyway. That one I'm gonna take. Hmm. Oh uh, yeah. Woodcutter sex. I'm gonna take everything here because apparently what I'm seeing for her, uh, her having in the storage is different from what uh, what I give to her. I have something to uh, to you. So yeah. I'm here if you ever need me. Breath is a big meanie. She keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. I know, but you gotta pick a goddamn sword, so use it. Oh, I love that girl of mine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, wrong way. Uh, what got us X? Bam. Go. And now let's go and talk to Sadie. Telling her that she does not have to be afraid anymore. Sadie, are you up here? There you are. Any news of the Alakir? They won't trouble you anymore. At last, I can rest safely. You have done me a great service, warrior. I cannot thank you enough. Take this reward. I managed to sneak some of my wealth out of Hammerfell when I left. It's the least I can do. For now, I will maintain my ruse here. You are always welcome in the Bannered Mare. Nice. It's been a pleasure. And that one too. Hey! <sighs> Three thousand three hundred and forty-one gold at the moment. 
Dragonborn, how's my finest customer? I'm looking to customize some on my house. Are you now? And what might you be looking for? Uh, I would like a front yard garden. Ha! A garden, you say? You'll forgive my humor. It's hard for me to imagine the great dragonborn planting mushrooms and flowers. I'll have to warn you, though. It is going to be a wee bit costly. Oh. And do you want us to plant your garden as well? Uh, no, I think I'm answering Gonna my... try your luck yourself, eh? Yeah. Well, we'll make sure the soil is nice and fertile for you. Is there anything else you be needing? Nope, that's about it. Farewell. I ain't done nothing. Just move your ass. Why, hello there, Dragon Ball. Come on, Sophie, let's see how the front yard, or front garden, has turned out. Would you look at that? Lovely. You can't see it now, but there's tons and tons of plots here. You can, um. Oh, you're somewhat. I never thought I'd see a dragonborn planting flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garrett, you old nuts. Get things nuts. done. I like that. Okay, let me just go here. Dragon's tongue. Let it wait for just a second. Yoink. Go. Activate. Go. You activate. Uh. Purple mountain flower, that's a good one too to have. Take it easy, Sophia, I'm just planting some flowers. Cabbages, nah. Gourds. Hmm. Lavender, that's a good one. That's, uh, that's, uh, for healing ingredients. There you go, got a few there. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, from me and Sadia. Oh, no, not Sadia, sorry. From me and Sophia here. Um, Let me guess. You want to talk? <laughs> what would you like to talk about? You seem like a funny person. You mean like weird? Huh. I thought you were different from all those other people who make fun of me. Because I don't try and conform to people's ridiculous ideals. No. I mean you have a great sense of humor. Yeah, I suppose. Being a free spirit like myself really lets you explore the world and see all its flaws, but yet at the same time makes you appreciate them. That's what some people who aren't like you just don't get. Hmm. Okay. I'm glad that's sorted. <laughs> Thanks, Sophia. And yeah, thank you all so very much for watching. And catch on the flip side.